Hey gang, it's Mike coming to you live again from the Backyard Oasis here in sunny Dallas, Texas on a beautiful night in the spring. Got the pool going in the background. It's it's crystal clear. Got the chemicals all figured out. We're ready to swim as soon as it warms up a little bit. I've got a treat for you tonight. We're going to talk about my new digital camera that I got and I did videos about this before. We're going to talk about accessories for that camera and a couple cool things going on with that and a couple bad things. As a reminder, my new favorite camera ever is Fujifilm X-Pro2. This, this thing is beautiful. I mean, you, you, you will fall in love with this camera by this camera. First accessory, you can see it right off the top, this little button here. So uh, I won't unscrew it because there's some uh, rubber gaskets underneath it that kind of hold it snug in place. I didn't think I would ever need a shutter release button. I always saw them on people's cameras and I was like, you know what, that's really cheesy that you have this beautifully crafted black, uh, this this carbon fiber, or I think it's carbon gray, not carbon fiber, uh, carbon gray color on this one, this specific model, and this big red button. And I thought they were cheesy. I ordered them. I put it on there. I've used it one day. This button, this little shutter release button thing on here, and I absolutely love it. It is amazing. It, it, it lets me manipulate a little bit better on taking a shot it lets me it feels a little bit better uh, on the finger when you're when you're doing a shutter release so pick one of these up I got a two pack of them on Amazon for maybe eighteen dollars I think was the total price yeah like eighteen bucks uh, for two of them one that has the uh, I gotta remember this convex concaved concaved there we go. Concave goes in, uh, convex, and then it goes out button. Uh, I've got the one that goes in on there right now. I'm going to try that out. I'll probably put the other one on one of my film cameras or something like that because they usually make these a little recessed. The only challenge, though, when you throw this in your bag, you got to make sure that it's off. Um, and you got to make sure you're not hitting that on-off button there because um, you could sit there and fire off a thousand shots because this thing is easy to press down now. It's super easy to press down. But it's not something you want to ever take on and off. Uh, the other little thing I discovered uh, at a shoot yesterday, I did a shoot for a good friend of mine who um, just opened a new office and uh, his company that he owns uh, just opened a new office and we went to go shoot that for him. And I used this amazing camera and a new accessory I'll show you in a second. This viewfinder focus ring got way out of whack. Uh, I'm starting to get a little old. Uh, over 40 now I'm like 41 ish and some in some change um, so I was like maybe my eyesight's going bad or something maybe the weird lighting and I can't see real well and I, I think I shot like half luckily it had auto uh, focus I shot like half the thing with this kind of fuzzy and it's because it got turned a little so be careful when you throw this thing in the bag but back to accessories sorry man I'm getting oh, it's Texas and there's mosquitoes and bugs oh they're everywhere Okay, accessories. This thing, what's missing? A flash. Doesn't have a flash. You really don't need a flash with this. I love shooting natural light uh, scenarios with this, but I was inside of a new building and didn't know the lighting situation. So, I ordered a flash. Looking at flashes, flashes are expensive. I, I never bought a actual um, off-camera flash for my Nikons because they were three or four hundred bucks for a flash and the knockoff ones were real junky um, but I'm on a Fujifilm forum on a Facebook shout out to those guys they are awesome I asked around hey what are some good flashes here we go we got this flash okay so this is a Godex it is a uh, Chinese knockoff uh, of, a, of a very expensive flash but this is full TTL um, it's it's got the sync modes on it um, the IR stuff on there so you can do all of the fun stuff there with uh, remote flash so you can take it off your camera it's got a, a nice you know hot shoe there uh, turns on maybe I may have run the batteries down yesterday uh, it's kinda hard to tell the color but that's red not orange I think the camera is showing it orange maybe there's there's the red color easy to read uh, there's really not many button buttons on here. There's a mode button, uh, so you can put it into a manual mode. Um, there's a zoom button for um, 
there's synchronization so you can sync it on the first shutter, the second shutter, um, forward, behind. So you see those cool um, photos taken in clubs and things like that where there's kind of like these like streaky scenarios behind somebody. They put this on the rear flash so it flashes as the shutter's closing and not as it's opening uh, or at the exact same time. You put this in slave mode. Uh, this also, again, this will sync with the wireless adapter. I did not buy the wireless adapter that goes with this, but they have a wireless adapter that goes with it that uh, you can put it on this cool little mount. So you just put this little shoe in there and it'll sit flat on a surface. Uh, it also has in that shoe. This is very cool because a lot of them I don't see this on tripod mount so you can mount this on a tripod and put it remotely somewhere and shoot off camera which is really awesome if you take some shots like that let me turn this thing off oh, there we go that it flashes um, built on diffuser that snaps on there you go there's the actual flash the little diffuser box here's another little cool thing maybe I'll get it out I probably can't uh, okay well well, there's a problem. <laughs> there's the first world problem right there. Okay, so I apparently don't know how to get this out of there, but they have a little white card that's in the back that pulls up and is a reflector, and that's all. The other cool thing, before I put this all up, inside here, inside this little bag, I don't want to open it because they go everywhere, are very thin, flimsy uh, gels that go, that are shaped like this, and they just set right on there and you put this guy on there and it holds them in place and that's awesome because then you have some gels if you want to use some color gels to shoot some shots with that that's always a fun thing to do especially if you have off camera flashes you can put some cool color gel behind somebody a purple or blue or whatever color you want to do and then put a, a nice forward flash on somebody's face uh, to light them up comes in this handy little carrying pouch no belt loop or anything like that it's just it's got a little it's got a pouch in the pouch, so you put this stuff in the back pouch here, and then you use the camera. Anyways, um, here's what's cool. This is pretty small. It's not super powerful. This cost 85 bucks, $85. So I'm ordering one more soon, um, probably in a couple weeks. But this one specifically is the TT350F model that is specifically designed for a Fuji camera to operate with the TTL stuff on there. Um, about to bend it the wrong way. Does all this fun stuff. Also, does this. So you can turn it sideways and do whatever you need to there um, to get it in the right direction as you want to light your subject, which is very helpful. So a couple scenarios on that. You know, if you're shooting and you've got a lot of light coming in off of somebody's face this way, uh, and you want to kind of fill the light in on the other side of them. Uh, I had some shots like that yesterday. They were standing in front of a very bright open window on onto the back um, back side of them, and I needed this side of them was just like black when you took a picture. You know, you focused and set the settings to capture that light on that side, fill the light over here on this side, and then they have a beautiful face. They have a beautiful color to everything. Um, because this camera is freaking awesome. Okay, so that's a cool accessory, and I'm probably going to order two more, one or two more. I'll order, they have the, uh, again, they have a wireless transmitter that sits, that attaches here in the hot shoe, so the hot shoe plate comes off. It goes into that piece there, and uh, the wireless transmitter sits on that, and then you attach the other pieces to these, and then they all communicate and make magic happen with off-camera flashes. Shoot off-camera flashes. I'm telling you, man. It's, it's freaking awesome. It's awesome. Lots of really cool artists out there shooting that way. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about another accessory I had to buy. So, um, one of the problems I have with my Fujifilm camera is the remote. So, I self-shoot a lot of my family photos. If there's a family photo in the last four years and I'm in it, my camera was on a tripod and I used a remote to shoot the picture. I've gotten good at it. I've gotten really good at it because I want to be in the pictures with my family as they're growing and my kids are growing and everything. I want to be able to have, have those memories. So I have a flash. I mean, uh, sorry, a remote. I have a flash. 
Fujifilm has an app on their phone on that you put on your phone that you connect Wi-Fi from your phone to your Fujifilm camera Wi-Fi and you enable that and once you've enabled that there's a mode where you can go in and shoot wirelessly with a remote and you have a view it'll show you a view of the actual camera on there you can adjust some settings and you can hit the button to fire the shutter so let me back up a week Easter Sunday the whole family's around everybody's there we're gonna do a family photo I, I don't have a I don't I don't have a, a plate um, an extra plate for my Monfrotto um, tripod so I didn't take a tripod with me I set this on a barbecue grill I put it on some bean bags I found from a bean bag toss game cornhole or something and I threw that on there and I got it all set up perfect everything was beautiful got everybody lined up the way I always do with my other cameras got everything set up got the wireless thing set up everything was great I hit the button to test it it processes processing 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 it just kept processing it sucks the app is a piece of crap a huge piece of crap not like a little piece of crap a big ass piece of crap a Texas landmine if you want to call it that a, a cow patty a longhorn cow patty a big ass piece of crap it sucks so it kept getting stuck on this processing mode so the only way for me to fix it so I could take the photo because I got everybody lined up and of course you know I got a seven-year-old and a five-year-old kid and I got parents and other people and relatives and everybody running around trying to get everybody to look at the camera at the same time and remotely me in the picture too remotely trigger to take this picture and not look like I'm remotely triggering the picture like I'm hiding my phone behind somebody's back and I'm looking at the camera you know so I've got this down I, I do that processing I do it again it still says it's processing on the first one so then finally I'm like okay well let me try this again so I tried it again and then it said it was it, it cleared the screen and looked like it was a live view of the picture that all of us were in and I hit the button and I'm like okay great I've got the photo I walk over to the camera as soon as I say I got the photo mistake don't ever say you got the photo say stay still as soon as I did that everyone went their merry way everyone dis dispersed ran off and doing all their other things and I walked over to my camera to go look at it and it didn't have the shot it didn't take the shot it just said processing uh, I've updated the app I've, I've gone on message boards I've tried all these things I've uninstalled the app I've reinstalled the app I, I'm on the latest firmware on this thing everything is everywhere it's supposed to be and the app just sucks it sucks man so this is what I had to do I haven't tried this yet because I just got this thing so a couple days later we were going to do some blue bonnet pictures with the family and I was like well I want to take my Fujifilm camera because that takes amazing and beautiful pictures but I can't do my family shots so I gotta go back to my old Nikon so pull out the Nikon D5100 it's this bad boy this is my workhorse this uh, I love this camera I've taken so many pictures with this camera and I've abused the crap out of it and it takes amazing photos here's what else is cool that's the remote so all I have to do is put the menu button on here for shutter release I can do a two second timer or I can do an immediate timer uh, where I push the button so it's just a little IR um, button on there and it takes a uh, one of those CR 2032 flat like it looks like a quarter size batteries in there that last forever I think I've had this probably is the original battery in this thing and I use the crap out of this thing a lot and I've done it for you know just just off camera when I'm doing like long exposures or night shots things like that I can just do that and take the picture and I never have to touch the camera you can't set any settings all the settings have to be already preset which is fine I'm cool with that and you just push this button and it takes a picture so this is all I have to carry around my camera which I'm already carrying around anyways and this little guy just tiny little wallet size credit couple credit cards thick throw this in my bag or my pocket. The Fuji, you gotta go through a whole setup, you gotta connect your Wi Fi to your phone, and all this other crap. So, I don't wanna use this thing anymore. I love this camera, but this is my new baby. Sorry, Nikon, you've been replaced. So, I had to buy a remote release 
um, remote for this Fujifilm challenge being they don't make these there's no there's no sensor on the front of this thing anywhere where I can point this at it and have it do something where it releases the shutter that doesn't exist on this thing so here's what I had to buy all of this so this is my new remote uh, for this camera kind of cool thing is I think I can make some setting changes here on this thing so you can actually take this and if you want to plug this directly into the camera you just plug this it's like a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack looking thing and it's got a micro USB deal on the other end and you open up the left side of your camera and you go into this little bay here and you plug this guy in and there you go now you have all this to deal with so now I have to carry all this crap around to do those shots which I guess is gonna have to be okay because it takes amazing pictures turn this thing on uh, yeah maybe it turns on there we go okay here's what's cool this one when I when I was looking at them online I bought this one specifically because it comes with multiple channels so you can ha you can get some interference from other devices because I think this uses the 2.4 megahertz spectrum uh, wireless spectrum so like old school wire wireless phones in your house and things like that so some things could probably affect this like you know if I was in a a crowded situation at like a stadium or someplace like that where there's radio a lot of radio usage or different things going on this is probably going to get screwed with so you know whatever um, and it works so turn it on Let's see if it works okay thanks uh, that light that you saw not a flash that's a focus light so don't get fooled there's no flash on this thing um, but yeah so it works and I think there's some different buttons and things on here. I don't know exactly what they do. Well, you want a remote shutter. Here's what you do. Unplug all this. And you have to actually buy this one extra. They have they sell this one by itself with just this stuff here. But you can buy the kit that comes with both. And this thing is the wireless transmitter that sits in the hot shoe. Let me turn it on real quick. Okay, it's on. Again, plug the 3.5 uh, into that side to take the hot shoe case out. Stick this on there um, into the hot shoe. It has a it has a little ring to lock it down. Again, you plug this stuff into the side. We're gonna keep doing this. Okay, and then I have this, and look at that. Takes a picture. So works amazingly uh, you don't have to do anything to sync these up you don't like they're just it says channel one on here and this one says channel one and if there's interference there's a button sequence here on the bottom here that you can change the channel on uh, I believe you can turn on a light a backlight so that has a little backlight it's just a cheap little backlight uh, nothing fancy so we're gonna turn all this stuff back off and but again I gotta carry all this crap around I gotta hook all this stuff up you know, I can't just put it in a different mode and pull out the remote and then go with it. Which I guess is going to be okay because it just is what it is. Uh, and that's what I have to roll with. So, these things are cool. This, I wouldn't get hung up on the brand if you're trying to look at what brand this thing is. Go on Amazon and just look for these and look up your camera model. And you're going to find probably a thousand of them. And they're, you know they're the cheap Chinese knockoff ones of these things. They're not... These are not brand name electronics. They feel cheap. Um, the battery compartments feel cheap. The locking mechanisms feel cheap. Everything about it kind of feels cheap to the hand. Um, they take two AAA batteries in that guy, and I believe two AAA batteries in that guy. This one was a, a pain in the ass to get in there because I, I the sticker is backwards. That's quality control in that factory uh, the sticker that says which side is plus and minus on here is backwards so I had to I put it in there and was like well, crap it doesn't work I gotta send it back and then I just was like oh, I'm gonna try the batteries a different way and I know you might be thinking well look for the springs well 
they put springs on both sides. So typically when you see the springs, you put your negative pole up against that, but you know. So anyways, all of this has to be carried around now in a bag. I was trying to get away from carrying so much crap and so many accessories and lenses and all that other stuff and this big heavy camera here. Uh, but I guess I have to carry these other things around and I'll have to steal that mount off of that. So quick review, what we talked about today, shutter button, get one. It's awesome. Get one of these Godex. This thing's freaking awesome. I, I, I didn't say this earlier, I'll say it now. Runs off two AA batteries. I shot for, it has a little USB port in there, and I don't know if that's a charger port, or if that's, it's not a charger port, because there's no battery in it, but it, maybe it's like a power, or something, I, hell, I don't know. I couldn't read the directions on this thing, because they were not in English, and I don't read right to left languages, I only read left to right languages. So, I can interpret a little French and German and things like that, but I, you get in a special characters, I don't know. So, but Godex, it's really, it's a really solid camera, uh, piece of equipment. This part's a little iffy in terms of build quality, but the rest of it's really great, man. Um, these are really amazing little pieces of electronics. They actually have some really cool flashes that are coming out that are more expensive. They're in the two to three hundred dollar range, but they're knockoffs of like twelve and thirteen hundred dollar flashes. And uh, I might, I don't know, I might pick one of those up, but I, I may pick up more of these. More of these would be better. Yeah, more of these is better. Not super powerful. You're not going to get like, I don't know, maybe 15 feet of good solid light out of this thing. It is a mini. It is miniature in size. It's not the full size one. I think they do call it a mini. But anyways get one of those and get you one of these remotes so you can also be in your own family photos learn to shoot that way and practice that way put your camera on a tripod get it all framed up set your family up in the place where they need to be set up so that you can enter into the photo be aware of which hand you're gonna hold the remote in and one of the cool things about this remote over this remote I don't have to point it at the thing I can actually put this behind somebody's back and just push the trigger from behind somebody's back. There's no there's no infrared piece on there that I gotta point at anything. It's all wireless. Um, but that's it for the accessories for right now, the stuff that I've bought for my Fujifilm X-Pro2. I know in my very first video, I talked about getting a new camera strap. I'm going to, I just can't decide on which one I wanna get. I'm not a big fan of this one. I carried around this camera yesterday around my neck with the flash attached to it for about two hours at a party. And it was at a friend's party, so I wasn't just working. I was doing some working and drinking. Probably maybe more drinking than working. But I got a good good number of shots for them uh, that they can use for their business. And, um, you know, it's always good to hook up a friend and help them out when you can. And free of charge, of course. I know, value your, value your art and your photography, but they're good people, so you always got to help good people. That's it, guys. Um, that's it for the accessories and all the cool stuff here. I'm going to go back to shooting some film, uh, cameras, things like that, show you some of my cool stuff that i got going on there. I've still got a big box of them that I'm cleaning out of the garage, and I have a pool, which means... I might have some surprises for you guys when it gets warm and talk about some cameras that can go in the pool. Film cameras that can go in the pool? Digital cameras that can go in the pool? Both. You guys be awesome. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking my videos. Uh, especially watching. I really appreciate it. Time is a is a precious commodity for us and the fact that you took 25 minutes to actually make it this far in my video and watch this thing and appease me, it means a lot. It really does mean a lot and I appreciate that. You guys go be awesome. Go shoot photos. Go practice, 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 practice. Go take pictures of everything you possibly can. If you're using a digital camera, it's pretty much free to take as many pictures as you want as long as you'll delete them and you don't keep terabytes of 
shitty pictures on your computer, delete them if you don't like them. But go out, and practice, have fun, enjoy the art, and share it. Put it on Instagram, put it on Facebook, let people see it. Document your life, document your friend's life. You guys go be awesome, and we'll see you next time.